Howdy folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Guitar Hero Lars Umlaut action figure by McFarlane Toys. Uh, this figure set uh, I believe was originally released in 2008. Uh, I did not know the Guitar Hero action figures actually existed until I was at a uh, Big Lots recently. I was looking for a uh, Marvel uh, Legends figure over there. Uh, and uh, I found uh, Guitar Hero action figures instead uh, on an end cap. I, I decided to try one out and I actually liked it. And I went ahead and picked up the rest uh, of the figures. And uh, this one here, Lars Umlaut, uh, actually has a variant. Uh, I actually saw it at, at the Big Lots. Uh, the variant... Uh, figure had a silver guitar and uh, I decided to go ahead and just get the regular version because I like the purple and black uh, guitar better it actually fits uh, this character I think uh, a lot better than the silver one does uh, I actually paid only three dollars uh, for these figures so, and you can see here uh, the figure comes with a Guitar Hero bass stand which is kinda neat looking at the back of the package here you can see uh, the other uh, figures uh, from uh, the Guitar Hero line. You have Johnny Napalm, uh, God of Rock, Axel Steel, and Lars Umlaut. I, I, I don't know what it is about his name, but I, I always tend to chuckle when I say his name. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we have Lars Umlaut out of the package, and I am really digging these figures. They're really, really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his guitar first. And it's a, a bat uh, guitar. And like I said uh, earlier, the uh, there's a variant, and the, uh, the, the variant guitar is just all silver. Uh, just no other colors, and it's pretty flat. Or it's, it's a gloss paint paint but there's no other shading or anything like that and it just doesn't look quite right for this kind of character and you can see here uh, it's just showing up as blue but it's actually purple and uh, black on there it's, and it's the shape of a bat it's very fitting for this guy and uh, you can see the, uh, the fret here and the strings and you can see some spikes on the end of there it's actually uh, kind of neat. I really like this guitar. And, and this one is as flat as the uh, Axel Steel guitar, the ha uh, Crescent Moon one. And you got the strap here of a s nice soft rubbery uh, plastic here. And it looks like a, some uh, adjust strap adjusters there that are painted on there. So it's kind of neat. That's the guitar. And uh, then we have here the display base. It's uh, pretty much uh, the same, I think, uh, between all of the figures. It has uh, two pegs on this one, and I think these pegs are just a little too high. I th think I might uh, just clip off uh, the top of these just to make it a little bit shorter on there. And, oh, and the uh, Guitar Hero logo is raised lettering on there. It's actually kind of neat. And pretty much blank on the other side, except for some uh, probably made in China and copyright date information there. But this is the uh, display base that comes with the figures. And uh, on to Lars Umlaut. Uh, I don't know what it is about his name. I like his name. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And I don't play Guitar Hero, so I don't know uh, if these characters in in the game are tied to any specific genre of rock and roll or if you can just play whatever you want but uh, if they were if to classify I guess these figures based on their looks uh, to what type of genre of rock uh, these guys represent I would say this guy is either goth or death metal uh, but I, like I said I don't know uh, guitar here I'm a rock band player so and in Rock Band, you, you create your own character, and I guess in Guitar Hero, you play a certain character or something here. But this guy definitely looks like a death metal player, so. 
Uh, this is actually a nice figure. I really like this figure. I'm really digging it. <laughs> you got the uh, face makeup going on here. You got the spikes on the shoulder pads, or just basically everywhere on this guy, <laughs> even on the on his wrist here. And these and these uh, spikes are not soft; they're actually pretty hard. <laughs> so, so when I yeah moving these uh, figures' arms and stuff, it kind of hurts a little bit <laughs> trying to move them. And what I really like is his his belt here. These look like 50 caliber bullets he's got <laughs> on his belt. And I think it's really cool. So, and he, he's got the his leggings here and uh, these studs on his knees and even more spikes on his shoes. I, I really like this guy. I think this is my favorite out, out of all the four so far. Well, I've only opened two, but just looking through the packaging and stuff, I think this is my favorite so far. I just really like this guy. And his name is pretty cool. So, but, uh... This guy's just super cool. Uh, going over the articulation of this guy, uh, his head uh, can move uh, back and forth and uh, can actually uh, go up and down. Uh, the hair is pretty soft on here, so you, you can actually uh, move the head uh, quite a bit. Uh, I haven't tried moving it all the way around yet, uh, but it seems to go up that far. It doesn't want to go anymore in this direction. I think it's because of the shoulder pad here. Uh, the arms uh, do go all the way around, at least on this arm. Uh, the shoulder pad blocks the movement on this arm. Uh, the uh, biceps actually swivel. There's a single joint at the elbow, but uh, his forearm uh, padding here prevents uh, a lot of the movement there. Uh, the hands rotate all the way around. Uh, kind of bend a little bit, not too much. Uh, the waist on this guy goes all the way around. Uh, the joints on the uh, hips here are kind of funky. I, I'm not kind of sh I'm not sure what kind of joints on this guy, uh, but you can move it inwards and outwards. I think it's a ball joint. I'm not sure. It just feels kind of weird for this kind of articulation on this on the leg here. The knee uh, is a single joint and bends uh, about that far back. Uh, the foot is on a ball joint, so it's kind of neat. Uh, you just you can, you can tw sw uh, swivel it side to side, up and down, uh, all kinds of directions on the foot. So when it was in the package, yeah, I thought that maybe the the um, foot was kind of broken or uh, just uh, warped. Uh, I guess it was it was like something like that. And finding out these are. Um, Certain ball joint uh, makes uh, makes it neat to pose this guy guy's feet on here. Overall, I really like these uh, Guitar Hero figures. I think they're kind of neat. Uh, uh, I'm almost tempted to actually go uh, buy a used copy of the game just to maybe even to play as Lars Umlaut because <laughs> I think he's really neat. Uh, but this is my uh, casual peek into the Guitar Hero Lars Umlaut action figure. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.